We've got so much going on. We've got a fully packed show today. Uh, we are so excited and very honored to have the cast and producers of the television show, Redwood, the series, uh, which uh, I believe aired on Sci-Fi, it's the first season. It's getting ready to launch off into second season land, and that means that we need to gear up and help them out because they uh, need some funding. So crowd uh, funding sources like Indiegogo, where you can find Redwood, the series, uh, is looking for some help. We certainly want to contribute to that, and we will do that today. Uh, that was my surprise for the casting crew. We're so honored to have Joey Cloberdance, Jeff Torres, Jasmine Hester, and Alicia. It's Alicia. Pete's, right? Alicia. Alicia, Alicia, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. (laughs) Thank you so much, guys, for joining us here on Showbiz Weekly. Um, Thank you. Just so our listeners know, we're, we're talking to about 30 countries right now. Just so our listeners know, who go online and, and find this, they can go to www.redwoodtheseries.com for one of their uh, social media platforms to find mm-hmm. out uh, what's, what the whole series is about. In fact, you can see the first entire first season there if you go there and I think I highly recommend that you do that. It's a wonderful series. Um, I'm going to let producer and star of the show, Alyssa. Pete, tell us a little bit more about Redwood, the series. Okay. Uh, Well, Redwood, the main premise of it is that a young woman has a supernatural illness that forces her to feed on vampires in order to survive. And then there's other drama and stuff that happens. It's a dramatic vampire genre series. Of course, we have biting and we have lots of blood and we have werewolves and witches and... um, and, yeah, that's pretty much Redwood in a nutshell. That kind of tackles it, yes. I mean, <laughs> the, <laughs> the, the genre of vampires and werewolves, it's so huge, again. It's so wonderful. I'm a huge fan of Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Uh, yeah. Love the show. Got to work on the show a little bit. And one of my friends, actually, uh, was in the, the pivotal scene in the episode where Buffy's mother dies, and he plays the vampire in the morgue there. And... Um, it's, it's an amazing thing that this has come back with Teen Wolf and, of course, uh, True Blood and uh, what yeah. is, what's the other, The Vampire Diaries. So I love yeah. this genre and I love that we get to see this again. The show uh, was a, a mindset, if you will, from uh, uh, Alyssa and Jasmine and Jeff. Uh, but Alyssa, you really kind of put this show together after you all met in acting class. Is that correct? Yeah, that's that's right. We all randomly met, and then uh, when I decided to do season one, I called up Jasmine because she had just said that she wanted to see the other side of casting. So originally she was just going to be like a casting assistant, and then I went ahead and auditioned her for the role of Anna, and of course she was amazing, so we brought her on for that. And then Jeff uh, randomly came on as a smaller role in season one, and then of course we became really good friends, and He's got a lot of connections, so we figured bring him on as producer for season two. And of course, he's a great actor too, so we gave him a bigger role. <laughs> <laughs> That's fantastic. Well, I've I've seen you all perform, so I can say you you are talented actors, and I love that. Thank you, Thank you very much. much. You're awesome. very good at this, and I love again the show genre. I'm um, taking a look at the site; it, it's just blowing up. You guys have a lot of followers, so the Indiegogo campaign that's going on to help. Put together season two. Tell us a little bit about that. Anybody, go ahead. Anyone who wants to share. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, basically, our Indiegogo is set at um, $7,458, which is our base goal to cover our first five episodes of the second season. And then, should we meet that goal before the 30 days is up, which is on October 16th, is when it'll end, um, we'll set stretch goals that'll help us. Um, find additional episodes so we can complete season two. So season two is actually 14 episodes. Wow. Um, but people can go on to Indiegogo, they can pledge any, any amount of money, and they get different rewards and different perks um, for doing so. Um, and of course, we constantly update our, we have a wall of sires that we um, put up, and it's all of our pleasures and all of our supporters. And um, yeah, it's just, 
and we do prank videos for every actor we're doing one today. <laughs> <laughs> every thousand dollars that we hit, one of us, we mildly torture one of our cast members. <laughs> Today, it could to be me. <laughs> yeah, today, your bathroom. Last time everyone did one and she didn't do one. So <laughs> Jasmine's going to get it today. Oh, it's, okay, that's Jasmine. Jasmine, fantastic. And, and what are you going to share? With your, what are you going to do? Are yeah. You- I, yeah I, <laughs> I, okay, so a while back, I kind of forcefully hit Alicia in the face with a pie. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> It went really well. Everybody loved it, but now everybody wants to see her revenge. Yeah. Retaliation. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's so, fantastic. It's well with their characters. Their characters don't get yeah. along so well. Right. So oh, just, that's just, perfect. Just, just like Look, pie, we, we have know? to take a break here. When we come back, we'll talk a little bit more about uh, the, the whole characterizations going on between all of you. Stick with us. This is Showbiz Weekly. We'll be right back. I'm finally living like I'm alive and I'm on top of the world with stars up in the sky. Welcome back to Showbiz Weekly, brought to you here as a part of the Michigan Business Network.com. I'm your host, Taylor Kelsaw. We are uh, talking out to Hollywood today. We are uh, so lucky and fortunate. We're joined by the cast and producers of the television show Redwood. Redwood, the series, has uh, already finished its first season. It's gearing up for season two. They need your help, and we'd like to help. Uh, yeah. Everybody go out to Indiegogo.com. Uh, let's get that address out there, Indiegogo.com, uh, and then is it slash uh, Redwood, the series? Uh, how, how, do you, how do people get there? It's slash Redwood, the series, two. Yeah. Or you can just go to the Indiegogo site and search Redwood, the series. That's what, yeah. Fantastic. Easy Great, yeah, great. Just, just typing in the actual link. I mean, yeah. who does that? Who has <laughs> links? <to> that? <laughs> That's so old school. <laughs> Well, um, we've uh, in our first segment we were talking uh, with Alicia and Jasmine, who were getting, vying up for this uh, wonderful contest that's a part of the Indiegogo campaign. Um, and uh, retaliation is about to uh, happen as uh, mm-hmm. <laughs> Alicia gets to uh, play revenge on uh, Miss Jasmine here. Uh, so this is going to take place, and this will actually be broadcasting tomorrow. Are you gonna you're gonna post this uh, on the sites? Yeah, we're going to do it today. I'm actually doing it right after the show. <laughs> <laughs> I have like, my hair like tied back right now just in case Alicia decides to do it early or just surprise me. <laughs> but <laughs> yeah, we're going to do it today and then we'll probably try to have it up either later on today or early tomorrow morning to get that out to everybody who wants to see yeah, it's kind of it's kind of a reward for all our fans because you know we we it's, it's a big deal that we got to a thousand dollars already. So you know every thousand dollars we're going to do something similar to this. So it's kind of a a fun way to thank everybody that's been supporting the show so far. Oh, and if wow. people have suggestions for pranks, I mean they have something they want to see us do, we'll totally do it. Well, I mean within reason, but we'll <laughs> totally do it. <laughs> <laughs> I have a five thousand dollar prank in mind. No, you guys won't do that. But anyway, <laughs> 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 yeah. see, money changes everything, right? <laughs> <laughs> <Me too. laughs> well, a little bit about uh, Alicia Pizza. We uh, discovered that uh, you are from Missouri, actually. Uh, and uh, as, as you called it a smallish town uh, of Jackson, Missouri, um, <laughs> and then uh, decided to move out to LA, uh, met Jasmine, met Jeff, and, and something that all four of you have in common is that you've all studied with the same acting teacher, acting coach, right? Yes, we all have the same acting. We all yeah. went to Ivana Chubbuck. Yeah, a few years back. Although that's not actually where I met Joey Cloverdan. Randomly, we had worked on a project years back <laughs> before Redwood. Yeah, it was like one of our first projects for both of us. That's what. And we never worked together on that project, but it was a project that we both worked on. And then when we cast him in Redwood, I was looking at his resume, and I was like, what? Last in the past. Yeah. That's amazing. Well, we uh, we here at Showbiz Weekly know Joey Cloverdance pretty well. He's a Michigander. He's joined us on the show many times to talk about Redwood, the series. So uh, kudos for that, to you, for you guys who uh, have uh, already received some recognition here on the show. Um, 
Joey, uh, of course, uh, did grow up in Michigan and attended Western Western Michigan University. I used to be able to speak English. One of those, One of those yeah, yeah, yeah. And also um, Jeff Torres. Um, and yeah. I, I do put my, my my Spanish accents on on all <laughs> Spanish words. So <laughs> bear with me. It was my first language, so I, I apologize. <laughs> so Jeff, you were actually uh, born in Hollywood, but grew up in uh, Rancho Cucamonga. Uh, if yeah. anybody ever has been out to Rancho Cucamonga, you go, "Why is this place here?" I'm just kidding. Yeah, no. <laughs> it's an interesting you know, place. But then you Rancho would... on their way to Vegas. <laughs> <laughs> like, I kind of know it, and they're like hungover when they see the sign, probably yeah, on the way. Back. Yeah. I was supposed to be going to Temecula to the wineries and ended up in Rancho. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it is awesome. It's totally awesome. I'm a native Californian, so I can say these things, you know, without hey, harm. Awesome. Where, where are you from? I was born and raised in San Francisco Bay Area and actually uh, did uh, undergrad school there and then grad school and then moved uh, awesome. to Ooh. Los Angeles to attend the American Academy of Dramatic Arts. Back before all of oh. you were born, probably. Old <laughs> 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 to like the, the better half of California. Say that again. <laughs> I said you went from like the Bay Area with the cold air, the cold weather, and you came down to the better half. I came down to the better half. Yeah, well, absolutely. Yes. I got a lot of sun, a lot of work, and then I ended up becoming a television producer. But that's enough about me. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff, um, you studied at uh, the University of California at Riverside, uh, a, a yeah. wonderful school. And then uh, you've also continued your education there in Los Angeles and abroad. You've trained at Robert Carnegie at uh, Playhouse West appeared in several things. Uh, what's it like to work on Redwood the series? Oh, uh, it's really cool. Uh, we have just like an, an awesome cast of people that are involved, and just like um, working with Alicia and Jasmine is really awesome. Uh, just problem solving and figuring out situations, and I mean, everyone kind of has a really positive vibe. So it's like we obviously as producers we get the problem solve and figure out how to do things for not that much money. A lot of times because we're not a huge show. Right. So it's really good to work with people that are like, well, we can't do this, but what can we do? You know what I'm saying? So it's always like trying to figure out the best way to do things. And, um, yeah, we all, I guess, work really well together. And, you know, it's it's cool working with people that uh, kind of, like, go with the flow and they're not like, no, no, I'm not. <laughs> We're going to need to take a break right now, Jeff. When we come back, we'll pick up where you left off. Stick with us. Showbiz Weekly will be right back. Welcome back to Showbiz Weekly, brought to you here as a part of the MichiganBusinessNetwork.com. I'm your host, Taylor Kelsaw. I am on top of the world uh, because I am with you guys right now, and it's fantastic Aww. to be talking to you, the <laughs> cast and crew of Redwood the Series. Before we uh, took a, a, a pause for the cause, of course, we, had, we were talking to Jeff Torres about his studies and, yeah. and his uh, relationship with the cast, and, uh, and, and, he, and you said it's been a very positive uh, environment for you. Uh, talk about uh, what that means to you. Well, I mean, it, just, uh, it means a lot to work with people that like, uh, don't think that one idea is like the end all. It's like, you know, we, we all like, kind of throw ideas into a hat, and then it's kind of cool to see how they kind of become something better based off of that. So someone comes with something to the table, and it's like, oh, that's actually really cool. And then the other people, as opposed to shooting it down, will be like, okay, cool. Well, if we do that, then we can add that on top of this, that, and the other thing. And it kind of just snowballs into something kind of progressive, and it, and it gets bigger. And it's kind of the same way that we want to uh, take the show. You know, we want to yeah. take it somewhere and then make it better and bigger and, and go to more places. So, yeah, it's been really awesome. That's great. I love that analogy of what you just shared. Just so you know, uh, listeners, if you're just tuning in, we're talking to the cast and the producers of Redwood the Series. Uh, it's just ended its first season. It's going into its second season. We're looking for some crowdfunding support to get that second season up and running. And uh, it's been a, a good turnout thus far with over $1,000 already contributed to it. Um, we we want to tell you that this series is a vampire drama series. It's uh, It fits right into what's happening uh, on television today. Um it's a dramatic uh, sh show because it, it there's blood. 
<laughs> and there's action and there's fight scenes and <laughs> and there's love and chemistry and uh, as I as I recall Jasmine and uh, Joey Cloberdance's characters uh, I forget their your characters names I apologize uh, it seems that you guys have yeah, a bit of a Anna relationship going on right there right what was that Jasmine oh I, I was just saying Anna and Sunny the characters I just like to randomly say out <laughs> names of Redwood I don't know Anna and Sunny yes yes so Jasmine you were born in the beautiful lovely san diego california i love san diego. i was yes my youngest child was born in oceanside just so you know uh, <laughs> growing up uh you 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 just you fell into love acting right you were bitten by the bug early i did well i i always loved it i always loved acting i was just a bit shy when i was younger so i just assumed you know i'm shy so i can't be an actor because there's not really a those don't go together. Yeah. Um, yeah, I went, to, I actually went, to, it was the, my last year of college that I figured out I actually wanted to stick with that. I wanted to try it. And I ended up going, I went to the same college Jeff went to. I think we just had no idea that each other was there, but we both went to the same university. And then, yeah, that's when I figured out this is what I wanted to do. And if it fails and I fall flat on my face, I at least have something to fall back on and, yeah. Well, that's that degree in psychology you have, right? So right. You've, you've done a, a, a few things, a few roles, and one of the things that I found interesting in your bio was uh, you did a, a show in the TLC show, I Didn't Know I Was Pregnant. Oh, my God. <laughs> now, oh my God. I, I, the reason why I bring this up is that my son, who Joey knows, Garen Kelsaw, worked on that show. as one of really? the Yeah, he's one of the production assistants on that show. It's a fun show to be on. Tell me why. <laughs> it, it is. <laughs> it's such a fun show to be on. It's so crazy. I mean, like, the stories are ridiculously wild. Yeah. But, like, I learned a lot. Like, I had to play a nurse. So I, I they had to act like a registered nurse there, like, showing me how to, like, draw like blood with an ID like how to do all these different things so I guess you know I have some medical training now so I guess it works there's <laughs> <laughs> something I can add on there that's fantastic. That's, a, that's I can like probably try it out on one of these guys. Yeah. I'll probably try well, it or well, I since, did not volunteer. Yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Knowing that Joey did uh, his undergraduate in, in, med- in medicine uh, studies, I don't know if he's going to allow you to do that to him. But. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that always helps. So, so uh, and Jasmine, when you came on board uh, for this role of Anna, uh, you did you just sink your teeth into it? Pun intended. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Um, I I did. I when Alicia first came to me with a uh, description and just offered me an audition, I fell in love with Anna then because I had never played a character that was just so just evil in her own right. Like she was just mm-hmm. awesome and and. I just love the writing and how she was developing in season one. So I, I just went all out. It's, I mean, acting is like a way you can just do everything that you can't do in real life. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's hope so. <laughs> I want to be shaking people or like, you know, I don't want to fight people. Comes out. The truth comes out. <laughs> but, you know, it's definitely an outlet. It's, it's definitely it's an outlet. It's cathartic. Absolutely. <laughs> you know, so it was, yeah, it was great to bring Anna to life, and Anna gets, you know, she, you really, really get to see her character develop in the second season, so I really hope that we get a chance to do that, because yeah. Anna and all the other characters really go, like, they're really tested. It's time to develop them more. We need to take a break here, Jasmine. When we come back, we're going to talk more with the cast and producers of Redwood. Stick with us. I'm on top of the world with Welcome back to Showbiz Weekly, brought to you here as a part of the MichiganBusinessNetwork.com. I'm your host, Taylor Kelsoff. Thanks for joining us. If you're just tuning in, we've been talking to uh, the cast and producers, uh, one and the same, of Redwood, the series. You can go online and check that out at uh, www.com. 
redwoodtheseries.com and find out what this show is all about. It's a, it's a fascinating show. It, it takes you on a roller coaster ride. It, uh, it certainly uh, makes you think. And I, I, I love the plot um, that um, producer and writer uh, Alicia Peets came up with because uh, it's usually the other way around that vampires are the ones that are feeding on us. And this, uh, yeah. this series is about someone who needs to feed off vampires. So uh, that's a, a nice twist. And uh, it's an award-winning uh, series, I might add. Uh, so kudos yeah. to that for you guys to uh, have received those uh, recognition. We... Um, have uh, been talking to the cast and one of the people that we haven't spoken to yet uh, uh, just uh, to uh, reintroduce to Showbiz Weekly is Joey Cloberdant, uh Michigander. Joey, uh, you've been in a lot of things including being Homecoming King. <laughs> Love that. <laughs> Back in, uh, let's see, Ooh, wow, that was a long time ago. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Upon graduation uh, from uh, Western Michigan University, uh, you moved abruptly to Los Angeles to pursue your career. You uh, eventually met all of these wonderful, uh, talented young people you are doing this show with. And uh, tell us about uh, what it's like working on Redwood. Yeah, yeah. Um, like Alicia point, said earlier, we had worked on the same uh, short film. Um, one of the first projects we both did uh, when we moved up here, but didn't have any scenes together. So we never met each other. And so um, one fateful day, gosh, probably four years after that. Um, and yeah, met all these guys, um, loved the script, loved um, everything I read about it and went in and auditioned. And um, the rest is now history. The rest is now history. I love it. I love it. <laughs> You know, I do feel in sense uh, when we were talking with you, Jasmine, that there is this um, uh, camaraderie uh, amongst you all because everyone who uh, talks about all the four of you talk about this show, there's a... Mm -hmm similar feel uh, that's going on. And, you know, I've been on, oh, I won't tell you how many uh, television sets and with cast and crews, mm -hmm. and it, um, there is often not that jovial feeling <laughs> from the cast members <laughs> with each other. It's so important that you have that. It is. It, it, it's, yeah, and it really shows is. in the work. It really does. So um, let's put out some of the, the sites. Uh, <laughs> Alicia, you had uh, mentioned to, to me offline all of these sites. You have one, two, three, four, five different sites that people can go and find out about Redwood, the series, um, including on Instagram. Uh, what's the Instagram account again? Is it just Redwood, the series? Mm -hmm. At Redwood the Series. At Redwood the Series, of course, Instagram. Yeah. And then uh, you have Facebook. Mm -hmm. which is uh, Facebook yeah, slash Facebook. Redwood, the series also. <laughs> yeah, yes. And then at Twitter, it's Redwood series. Yes. Yeah, so they wouldn't allow us to add a the. Twitter doesn't <laughs> like the word by, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I did not know that. YouTube, uh, Redwood, the series, and uh, mm -hmm. so that's everywhere. And, and of course, again, the www.redwoodtheseries.com. Please, yeah, listeners, yeah, go out and check it out. That thing connects to everything else, so that's probably the easiest website to go to. Go to that one, and you can just connect to everywhere else. Yeah, we we connect to our Twitter, our Instagram, and pretty much connect to everything, and our Indiegogo as well. Oh, that's fantastic to know. Thank you. So, um... What is season two going to be like? Uh, what's the question? What's, what's it going to be like? Oh, this season is, um, it's fast paced. There's a lot going on. There's a lot of action scenes. It kind of builds off of the first season. Like the story that was set up in the first season is building uh, to a climax in the second season. So there's a lot more conflict. There's uh, a lot of action. There's more romance. Um, there's a lot more biting and blood than there was in the first season. <laughs> so people who love that, uh, there's a lot more of that going on. And I'm just really excited about the cast that we have on board this season because they're going to bring a lot to the table as far as just bring some brilliant performances. Um, we have Amy Paprath, who's going to be in the first five episodes, which we're, you know, gearing up to make now. Um, and she's probably most well known for VH1's uh, Dating Naked right now. She's the host, the host of that. But she's going to be playing a werewolf, and she's just a brilliant actress, so I'm really excited to work with her. Yes, um, yes. Go ahead. Yeah, that's fantastic. Oh, 
And then, uh, yeah, and some of the other actors we have, we have James Kyson. He's from NBC's Heroes. He's going to be playing a vampire later on in the season. Nice. And, uh, yeah, we just, we have a lot going on, a lot of awesome a lot of awesome performances to be seen this season, and uh, the plot building and... And werewolves, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Werewolves are going to be a thing now, so that's cool. <laughs> yeah. I may or may not be shirtless. We haven't yeah. figured it out yet. Maybe. I actually wrote one scene where they're specifically shirtless, because, you know, we okay. need that. Okay, yeah. spoiler <laughs> There will definitely be shirtless werewolves, okay? Well, that's going to get you a bunch of viewers right now. I can what guarantee you that. <laughs> we're going to take a break. When we come back, we're going to do one more segment with the cast of Redwood, the series. We'll be right back. On top of the world with you. This view. I'm on top of the world with you. Welcome back to Showbiz Weekly, brought to you here as a part of the Michigan Business Network.com. I'm your host, Taylor Kelsall. Thanks for joining us. If you're just tuning in, we've been talking to the cast and the producers of the television show Redwood. You can uh, go online after yeah. you've listened to the show <laughs> and, uh, and check out www.redwoodtheseries.com and find out all the great information about the show, its Indiegogo campaign, and all the other social media platforms you can check out, which you can uh, become a fan of. Uh, we, we, we certainly uh, want to see that happen. Our goal today is to spread awareness of this fantastic show. Um, so much has changed in television since, um, well, I was, I was looking at Mark Sedita. Uh, do you guys know acting coach Mark Sedita out there? He, uh, he's a fantastic mm-hmm. acting coach. And mm-hmm. Mark Sedita? There's so many out there. It's, it's hard to. <laughs> but, yeah. You hear a new one all the time. Yeah. But, um, yeah. No, I personally haven't heard of him. Well, he's uh, been working with a lot of people, and he posted recently that, uh, of course, all the, the new shows are happening, and he, he remembers all the great shows happening on television. So much has changed with webisodes, with uh, Netflix, with Amazon, with Hulu. Yeah. Right, right. Uh, there's so many outlets today to do a television show, and uh, I'm coming out to L.A. next uh, week to, to pitch a show, and uh, I think everybody in the world is pitching a show. You know? I know when I lived in L.A., and and uh, uh, the waiter would recognize me from something, and he would try to pass me his card or his script. Or his, it's just everybody's mm-hmm. in the business out there, yeah, and it's it, yeah. and it's changed that there's now an opportunity to do a show like Redwood, um, and mm-hmm. and have this following that you have, which is fantastic, and to build awareness by coming on a show like ours and sharing that. What is the goal of of, of Redwood the series? What would you like to see happen with it? Anybody, stab it. <laughs> um, yeah, ideally, we want to get it picked up as a TV show. That would be probably uh, our... Like, what we would love most. Um, but also just to get it sponsored as a web series, if we could get on like Crackle or Hulu or something, get a sponsor behind us so that we can, uh, you know, up the ante a little bit and make a, a third season or more of a second season with an actual like real good budget. Mm-hmm. That's what we would love to happen for Redwood. I think like piggybacking off of that, any situation where we can also keep creative people yeah. over it, because Redwood is Alicia's baby, but we're all kind of like step parents somehow. Like it's a weird <laughs> little family now, and yeah. if, if we could all keep our like hands on it, that'd be ideal. Yeah, it'd be perfect. Well, you, as you yeah. know, there there are a couple of ways to sell a show. One is to give up creative control, and one is to hold on creative control, which means mm-hmm. less money mm-hmm. up front. Uh, I I got to work on the Oprah Winfrey show and I learned something from uh, Miss Winfrey a long time ago and that was don't take a salary, own the show. Yeah. 
And that's how mm-hmm. she became a billionaire. And uh, yeah. wow, yeah. <laughs> I yeah. Uh, I think it's important uh, that what you're doing gets out there and gets in front of the right people. Um, how can we help you here at Showbiz Weekly spread the word about Redwood the series? Well, I think just any kind of positive feedback about it and just like, you know, just putting it out into the ether that is the internet. You know what I'm saying? There's mm-hmm. so much content out there now that it's like, you know, uh, it helps so much when someone goes like, hey, you need to put this at the top of your list. This is an uh, an incredible web series with, you know, um, a higher concept. A lot of web series are, you know, uh, people in their 20s that are dating. And there's nothing wrong with those web series. Some of them are actually really great. I have a lot of friends that are in those, and they're fantastic. But this is kind of a, it's a for having the smaller budget that we have, um, and kind of ha- having it be a passion project, there aren't that many that are, are about supernatural things like this. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And Absolutely. so to us, to have people know that there are other shows that are, like you said, in the vein of Vampire Diaries and stuff like that, that are being made independently the way that, that we're doing it, um, I think it's just important to have people know about it. I mean, that's really the, the, the school that we need to get more and more people, like you said, to get it in front of the right people's uh, face. No, like, as of right now, like, you know, of course, there's the Indie go like, in pledging and if people can't pledge, like, share, go on Facebook, go on Twitter, go on Instagram. We even have this thing that we do now called Fan Fridays where we'll, have, we'll feature one of our fans on our, our site with, if, if they do, like, a Redwood selfie or, like, some kind of Redwood video or something. Like, my best friend just did a, a werewolf, her take on a werewolf transformation or something as her selfie and all these things help I saw that. That's great. Trending. Yeah, I, I love that. I love the, the fan participation. I love that uh, people can interact with you. Um, it, it is, it's a wonderful th- opportunity. You guys are very open and approachable, and that makes mm-hmm. a huge difference um, for, for getting okay. things done. Um, I love that this uh, vehicle is out there. And uh, for more information, again, go to www.redwood, the series.com and you can find out all the great stuff about them we're going to have another segment with you guys in in a minute so we're going to take a break right now and finish up the show with the cast of redwood right after this Welcome back to Showbiz Weekly, brought to you here as a part of the MichiganBusinessNetwork.com. I'm your host, Taylor Kelsa. If you've just joined us, uh, we've been having an hour-long discussion on the television series, Redwood, the series. Uh, we've got the cast and its producers on with us, uh, and the likes of uh, Jasmine Hester, Alicia Pitts, Jeff Torres, and Mr. Joey Corbidans. Thank you again for uh, joining me. Um Jasmine, I had a question for you. The Hester name is uh, is a part of my family name as well. Uh, is your is your really? f- yeah? Is the Hester family? You have any relatives in in Chattanooga, Tennessee? Um, not that I know of. Uh, all of my family members that I know of, are there, they're in North Carolina. But I do know that quite a few started moving around mm-hmm. to like Philly and like New Jersey and that kind of stuff. Um. But I don't know. I'm ra- I'm running into a lot more Hester's out here in California, and that's not really common. Yeah. So I'm just assuming anybody that has Hester in their name, I'm related to you in some way. Yeah, so exactly. Like, yeah, that's that basically thing. how it works. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> Speaking of being related to each other, you guys mentioned that earlier in the segments that you feel like family, that you, you you're yeah. you're a cohesive unit. You you're getting to this work done because you're working so hard at making something that you believe in and you're behind. Um, What is the next advice you would have if you could tell yourself before you started this process now, what would you tell yourself? Advice we tell ourselves? In retrospect, yeah. I think I would say, I don't know, like just 
I think we kind of take things, per- like, sometimes when things don't go our way or if, uh, perhaps we have m- many failures or whatever, I think we take them really personally and, and sometimes it, it gets in our head and I think I would tell ourselves to, like, just keep going. Like, it's not the end of the world. There's always a second solution to something. Like, if you sit down and you brainstorm and we all are very bright individuals, we all sit down and, and figure it out. You can keep going and you can make things happen. I think a lot of the times, you know, people have this, idea that you have to look outside of your circle to find like validation or someone mm-hmm. to encourage you or, or whatever but we have it right here so I, I feel like we can be resourceful with what we have because we have so much so I, I think I would just tell myself to to breathe <laughs> calm yeah. down a little bit it's, it's yeah. okay you Definitely know like slow down and, and, and just like you know slow down take it in and then and then you know act accordingly yeah. And that's another thing. Sometimes, you know, when you're trying to do something and you're on a tight amount of time, you have like a mm-hmm. you know, a tight budget and we're like, Oh, I've got to do this, we've got to do it now, we've got to do it now and it's sad and sometimes it's it's better to just be like, Okay, what do we need to do? Yeah. yeah. And how are we gonna do it? And then just kind of breathe and then, you know, sit on it for a second before acting. So I think Alicia and I tend to panic. Like we get really stressed <laughs> out, so then we'll start panicking and then it's the guys that are like, you know, Chill out. Like, yeah. I'm not better about not doing that, though. Yeah. yeah. This season's much better than season one. If you talk to us in season one, there's crazy people. Yeah. Season well, it, it's understandable to be excited about something that causes a little bit of anxiety because things aren't happening perfectly. Right. And that's that's kind of the learning process that you need to go through. Uh, mm-hmm. uh, when you're producing something, uh, as, as you, you guys know, I am a producer as well, it's one of these things that you have to... Take yourself and remove yourself from the, the moment and say, yeah. how would I rethink this? Why would I allow this stuff to happen? And what can I do differently? And I've learned lessons the hard way. And that's mm-hmm. by working with people and for people who did not have the patience and, and were very matter of fact. Mm-hmm. And, and, and that's the kind of stuff that does homogenize your unit that creates a lovely environment to be around and people love coming to work and it shows up on the screen as, mm-hmm. you, as you know so that's that's a great sound advice that i think that you're putting out there i always ask my guests when they come on to because i do teach to uh, share uh, with uh, some of my students s- some messages of, uh, of getting into the industry uh, any any advice uh, let's start with you jeff um, well, I just, uh, people ask me that a lot, actually, because a lot of people are like, oh, you've been doing acting thing, and I, I always just kind of tell them if they want to do it, I would suggest, first off, honestly, to move to wherever you want to move to. It's really weird to kind of, like, ask questions about a place that you're not at, because all the things and advice that you give people oftentimes don't apply until they're actually there. Yeah. So it's like, if you, if you are interested and you want to make a move, uh, yeah, sure, do some research and find out, you know, uh, stuff about acting classes and stuff like that and get feedback but yeah. I think just like honestly making the move and like going to where you want to go is such a huge step and like being involved in, in, in whatever city it is that you want to be involved in and like finding people that are yeah. are like minded and they're also artists and that have similar goals I, like I think it. it's really important to surround yourself with those people because they'll guide you to you know acting classes that really work for you or, you know, uh, different representation, or, you know, that kind of stuff. And I think just doing what you love and kind of just knowing when your time is being exchanged for something that you're really happy to be a part of, I think that's that's really important, too. Well, that was, you, again, you know, I'm sorry, Jeff, that's sound advice. We're running out of time. I, I, I don't know how an hour goes by so quickly. Um, yeah. I, with, I'm extending this invitation for you all to come back on so we can continue to promote this. We may not do an entire hour again, but we'll have you back on and continue to promote your Indiegogo campaign. It's been a joy. It's been a pleasure. Whenever. You let us know. Yeah, definitely. Absolutely. And again, I hope to see you all next week. Ciao for now. This is Showbiz Weekly, brought to you here as a part of the MichiganBusinessNetwork.com.